na wakenya wameendelea kutoa maoni yao maoni tofauti tofauti kufuatia ufufuzi wa vyakula vya kiteknolojia vilivyokuzwa kisayansi almaarufu GMO na baraza la mawaziri likiongozwa naye rais William Ruto mapema wiki baada basi baraza hilo kupendekeza kwamba au kuamua basi vyakula hivi viweze kutumika humo nchini baraza la mawaziri liliamua serikali ianze kutekeleza mapendekezo ya kujopo kazi jopo kazi lobuniwa kuchunguza kuchunguza basi chakula hicho na basi kupendekeza usalama pamoja na bina, usalama kwa binadamu kama hatua za dharura za kuokoa maelfu ya wakenya wanaokumbwa na njaa vyakula hivyo basi vilipigwa marufuku mchini mwaka ken, mwaka 2012 kufuatia usalama wake the only way uh, that we can achieve at least to have food security is to introduce uh, crops and uh, also import uh, some of the foods that are uh, maybe uh, let me just talk of uh, uh, crops because at the end of the day uh, you know uh, farmers uh, tend to, to 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 get a lot of laws at the end of the day and uh, the only way we, we can uh, maybe mitigate this is to uh, produce those crops that are resistant to diseases uh, drought so that end of the day uh, in two or three or six months that now that we have the short rains I think uh, uh, we should actualize the food security. Already Kenya watu wengi wanaumia sana na stories za lifestyle diseases na story kama magonjwa zingine kama cancer. So wakianza kuleta stories za GMO na it's a time when people are trying to bring in stories of organic food to avoid magonjwa then it's hectic. In a few years to come we will not be dealing with issues za chakula kuwalesa ama starvation for that matter will be dealing with people dying cause of lifestyle diseases ama magonjwa zingine kama cancer which we ought to be avoiding at this point so it feels like it's an easy solution but we're going to have a bigger problem in the future